It's number two on Nick B's early 2000s R&B week. It's all about love. I know it is. And here we have an artist that I am unfamiliar with, Heather Headley. Never heard of Heather. Um, I don't think I've ever heard any of her songs either. But check this out. Imagine sleeping on the ground and holding another hand. She's staring me down, so I think I better stay and do who I am. But it don't matter either way what they do or say, cause ain't nothing changed. I'm standing with her, so it's only calling out my name. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting somewhere here now. I love that chorus. That's really oh. nice. There is a um oh really nice depth to the feeling of this song. Absolutely. Like as soon as it begun, I felt like, oh, we're 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 in somewhere. Like you settle right in, you're like pulls you into that place. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're you ju you've just had a breakup, the person you're with has just moved on and you're you know, you're thinking about them. Yeah. And you're Is having trouble moving on. Yeah. She s she really sets the tone with some seriousness. But, yeah, like, n nothing about it feels, like, cheesy. Yeah. It just feels like, oh, I feel very real. Like yeah. They, they, they captured the feeling really well is what I'm s getting at here. I think there's so a, a little thing with the music that I think when it comes in. Those those strings are yeah. really nice. Everything's Imagine really nice. Yeah, that intro is nice. I know it just feels right. Yeah, you, you can't escape it. It pulls you in. You can't ignore what's going on there. It's like, oh, here we are. Let's absolutely. Let's, let's go through it. They say if you love someone, you've got to let it go. Oh. And if it comes back, then it means so.
Wow. Dang. That was a special song. That is a special song. That's a really nice video. Well shot. The cinematography is beautiful. Yeah. Like every single scene just looked so rich in its full. It's like, it's like intentional. It's not just like, all right, we got to fill this up. It's like really nice shots. Oh, yeah. I especially love like these shots of her on the rooftop. So nice. And she's stunning. She's beautiful. Um, and then, oh, I also love the shots of them at the park. Like, I guess these are probably like memories or something. Yeah. But, you know, it's like it's sweater weather. You know, it's a little cold. Mm. Or chilly, I should say. It's not cold. Chilly. You know, you got to put on a, a hoodie and some jeans to be comfy. It That's makes right. it so much cozier and like everything's happy. They're by the water. Man, they did. Th I think they did a really good job with this one. I'm impressed. It's it's exactly what it needs to be. Yeah, but and and it's such a related. I mean, everyone's been, everyone's lost a love. Yeah, I mean, that's and the you know the feeling, oh. universal experience. I, I, you know, a lot of people they get in love and then they lose a love and then they go through that period of time where they just. Where it feels like, no, no, that was the love. You know, that was yeah, it. That, that's that was the, the one. one. Oh, In I my mind, I'll always, you know, I'll always yeah. be his or he'll always be mine. Right. Stuff like that. Like it, it, and, it's, and it takes a long time to be like, nah, that's it. It, it is go. over. You've got to let go. It takes, I, I mean, mean it she even so said, long. She even said, if you love something, they say if you love something, you got to let it go. If it comes back, it makes it that much more. It mean it means so much more or something. She, it was in the lyrics. It make you feel definitely make you feel secure, more secure. More <laughs> secure. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, but the thing about this music video and the song is like, how many songs are about this topic? Countless. So to do it really well, and have it all come together in such a really like. Um, artistically impressive way is you know that that's some serious skill and talent by her and the writers and then the person and, or the, and the people who came up with the music video treatment and then shot it and yeah. put it together i love when art just kind of comes together it's like yep that's it they, na they nailed it with this one millions have tried before this millions have tried after this song but this one really nailed it <laughs> there's a lot of uh yeah, there's a lot of songs that are about like heartbreak, and they're playing, and I'm listening or watching the video. I'm just like, I don't know, I don't really care about this. Like, I I don't really care. That's what I'm saying about about the story. It, an it, or it doesn't, or it's not like very obvious the feeling. But when you see her just like sitting around up all night, unable to sleep, type of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, been there. I d it's it's like they just they they actually put the real emotions and feelings that people actually feel like mm -hmm. the images of how it actually feels and then you do you always think about all oh, everything was so amazing and yeah i i agree i think this is an ar and with everything that joe just said i think this is an acknowledgement of heather headley's artistry because it all starts with the artist you have to inspire the people around you to build this thing together you know and man like you can't just be uh, a poor like a, a like a bad artist with great people around you. They can't lift you up to that level, you know. Like no. it's th that's tough to do. I'm sure it's been done, but it's so unsustainable. And like you don't come out with great videos and songs like this if you're if you're not great. But yeah, there's like this level of authenticity and like I guess truth to it. Yeah, just like. They weren't afraid to go there, and oh, just nice. Just feel it. You just feel it. You just connect with it. Flow of the video was good. Also, it never just felt like it was like redundant. It never felt like it was. Right. It bi it build it it bi uh <laughs> it build. <laughs> no, what what is the word it I'm looking it for? It gives build. It give it's giving build. Yeah. It um, it's giving heartbreak. Honestly, you know what, what is I mean? the word I'm looking for? I'm I'm stumped. Flow. Yeah. Progression? Pr it progressed. Thank you. It progressed in such a great way. And like, uh, what's the word they use I for would say movies? Natural way. What? 
I would say it progressed in a natural in a way, as opposed natural to a way. It didn't as opposed forced. to where it's like, it huh? wasn't like, wait, what the hell's going on? It was like I get what's going on entirely. <laughs> yeah, it feels just right. That's right. Um, yeah, but what what when they say uh, in movies when things r- climax? Mm. Yeah. There you go. That's a song. It's exactly correct. But like that that's the thing is that it wasn't a complicated music video. No. But it didn't I don't know. It just nothing looked goofy in it. That was really nice. Even uh, the like something that always feels so goofy is like this type of scene where she like sees them. You know right. what I mean? They did this so well. They did it they did it a lot better. Like it feels like whenever they do these scenes, it's always just like some nonsense. Like Right. It's always like a weird like that would never happen type of feeling. Yeah. But it's just like, yeah, she just happened to see them and they kind of portray it as she just happened to see them. And then a big aspect of it, because this is a big aspect of having your heart broken, is just sitting around your house alone. Yeah. And just sitting there. Just trying to get through the day. Thinking it. I mean, maybe this was the only shot that kind of made me giggle a little bit. <laughs> the just football? Like, like, yeah, remember? The remember? memory? Remember, <laughs> so remember, he was a guy. That is one of the funny things. And I think we see these in music videos in the early 2000s a lot. Yeah. Is like, is like a memory of a guy. There's always like a football or a basketball. Yeah. Or like, oh, he left this here. It's like, it's so. Remember. <laughs> it's so funny. Remember, your man was into sports. Yeah. Remember, oh, remember sports. He was such an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> remember sports? That was your man. He was giving sports. <laughs> he was giving sports. Uh, but yeah, I think. And then, it's like, the like lighting. Even, the, even the lyrics give it up. She goes and, and she runs into the mom. And that's a, a tense situation. The mm. lighting is so good. I think whoever they got to be the director and the director of photography just crushed the lighting. And sh- these shots are so well done. And, you know, I don't know exactly when this happened, but it does not look like they abru- uh, they, they definitely didn't uh, airbrush to death either, which is very nice. Which I think this is right. airbrush era. This is airbrush era for sure. I mean. I think it's like 08. Oh seven, maybe something like that, which okay. is total airbrush time. That is just like, yeah. But this, I- th- I think the heaviest defenders of the airbrush were like, two thousand to two thousand four. So this might have been like when they're like, all right, let's ease up, let's go for a know, slightly more natural. Those T Pain songs were like oh six, oh seven. Yeah, oh really? Yeah, uh, like okay. bartender and all that. I think that's like oh six. Right, right, right. But still, though. Anyways, this was great. I'm going to add this to my Spotify. I'm going to watch this music video again on my own time. And I want to hear Heather Headley Week, maybe? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I never, I've, I've never heard that name before. I'm a fan. Yeah, me yeah. either. All right. Well See you in the next one.